Hey guys, how's it going? Probably thinking it's early morning, but it's actually late afternoon, almost evening. That is correct. Holy fuck, I almost sounded like Bullwinkle on that one. But yeah, it's actually uh, almost 6 o'clock at night. I didn't do any editing or any videoing today. I didn't really have much to do this morning. I got up, I had some breakfast, and I went to work. Nothing really going on. One thing that's going on is I got a lot of shrapnel here to sort through. Holy shrapnel. No idea what's going on tonight. Probably not a whole shitload of a lot. I want to get, gather up my garbage. Because garbage day was pushed ahead due to the long weekend that we had. You know, I was off Monday and that. So I'm gathering up my uh, my garbage now. I already did all the downstairs. I just got to clean up up here. I got a lot of different things I got to get packed up. and. And, and shite and sent outside and then tomorrow before I go to work I'll put it at the side of the road and get scooped up. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do for dinner yet. Haven't quite figured that out. Like seriously haven't quite figured that out. I bought some cowboy steaks on uh, Tuesday? Yeah Tuesday when I went to uh, Food Basics. Oh shit. Okay I thought we were about to have a jumper. We didn't. We didn't. We're good. We're good. Everything's safe. Everything's fine. Now these are the different kind of cowboy steaks. They're not really steaks. They're more like cowboy blobs and I'm not sure if you need to thaw them. They definitely need unthawing. This is the cowboy steaks here. I'm pretty sure they're made of horse meat. <laughs> they say they're best in the barbecue but they got to be defrosted so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some water in my sink here and uh, toss them in there and let them float around for a minute or three. Let them defrost at their own pace, eh? So let those thaw out in the sink full of water. That's a technique my buddy told me about. Seems to work pretty good, so we'll give her a go. And uh, here's hoping that they're good. If you want to hear about some fucked up weather today, holy shit, we got a taste of everything in one day. Starts off this morning, it's foggier than shit out. I mean, like, visibility was maybe four houses down. Horrible. So you drive to work and the roads were a little slick. It was about minus two out. Uh, so I get to work, go in, looking out the office window, can't even see the parking lot. Like it's a fucking disaster with how foggy it was. Then all of a sudden it all clears up. Still gray skies and shit. I was like, oh, looks like the fog finally lifted right on. Then all of a sudden the fog comes back full tilt and now it is hailing. And I mean, it was coming down like a son of a gun. So it's hailing like cats and dogs out there. Big chunks of ice smashing into stuff. My car took no damage. Go team car. And then next thing you know, it's sunny out and plus seven like what what happened and then i get off work and it's cloudy out and raining i'm like holy shit like the fucking weather's being like super bipolar today jumping around like a pomeranian unbelievable and right now outside it looks freaking fantastic like nice sky sun setting everything looks great right i really don't know what the hell's going on with mother nature she is right rifle cock so yeah it is what it is i'm wondering how this summer's gonna be to be honest with you because this winter has been pretty well we got a lot of snow but well well, you guys remember back in 2013, was it 2012, 2013? I can't remember what year it was now. Uh, we basically got all that uh, all that cold weather in February. Fuck for a good, uh, what, two weeks. We were sitting at minus 45 Celsius, and that's when my pipes froze. Before uh, Dad came over and we tore up all the floor, the new drain pipe in, and the new uh, water pipes, and insulated the tits off of them, and then we laid down the floor. Was that before I was vlogging? I can't remember now. No, that happened while I was vlogging. I remember vlogging about the frozen pipe situation. So yeah, that was definitely not too long ago. And then there was when my, my my drain froze. That's what it was. It wasn't my pipes that froze. My drain froze. When the pipes froze and blew, that was the first year I owned the house. And I wasn't vlogging then. That was in 2006. I didn't even think of YouTubing at the time. But uh, yeah, like freaking minus 45 Celsius for like a good two, three weeks straight. And then that summer was like complete bipolar opposite, right? It was plus 45 for plus 35, plus 45 for the summer. Like it was a hot scorching summer. So good times had by none. Frig six. And now we're sitting here and we got this like plus friggin' or like February plus seven. Mind you, tomorrow though, they're calling for a boatload of snow. We're looking at 20, well, said anywhere from 10 to 20 centimeters or so tomorrow. Another 10 on Saturday and possibly five on Sunday. So that could be 45 centimeters of snow coming in and saying, hey, sup, bud? Which means snow blow at time, potentially. Which sucks because I was kind of hoping it was going to be nice because it was going to be nice this weekend. I was going to ask the old fashioned question. I'm going to ask it anyway because <coughs> I want to know. Anybody out there who's good at welding, when welding in cold temperatures or the steel itself is cold you need to warm up the steel before you apply your arc or can you just say fuck it and zap the shit out of it and weld away i've always wondered that myself 
I, I'm not sure. Like, I watched a bunch of, like, um, well, watching shows where they're doing, like, work in uh, Alberta on the oil pipeline. There's guys who go around with these, like, great big flamethrower things, and they're heating the pipe. But I don't know if they're doing that to weld it, or if they're doing that for fitment, or how that works. I just see them go around with these, like, uh, uh, gas-based flamethrower things, and they're torching the pipes. So I don't know if that's for heating it up or what. But I always wondered that, like, with a MIG welder, if I were to weld... I always wonder with MIG welders if you can just weld cold steel or if you got to heat it up so if anybody in the comments can let me know that'd be friggin fantastic because i do have that blowtorch you know so yeah as far as tonight goes probably not too much on the go i want to get the bed at a decent hour tonight and like i said i didn't film this morning because there was nothing going on and honestly i don't even know what to film now all i'm doing is collecting garbage and tossing it outside the door so that tomorrow i can put it at the end of the road so right on Alrighty, we're out in the garage i fired up the barbecue we're gonna warm it up clean it off and get this horse meat cooked i don't know if it's really horse meat i just think it is. I've gone ahead and thrown them on the barbecue there. We'll let them cook up. This is gonna be good. Damn, these look good. They're pretty much done. So I'm gonna shut her down and bring them in the house and eat them. Here's a better shot in the light. Oh, these are gonna be delectable. Anyway guys, it's 8.30 at night. I'm gonna shut the vlog down here, get it edited and uploaded and go to bed. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't much, but it's something. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. And until next time people, keep on vlogging.